What's going on guys? Still come back again. Hope you're all fantastic today and I have been waiting for this moment for a really, really long time and finally we can say a security breach release date. Before I even start this analysis video, security breach is going to be out on the 16th of December this year, which is really, really close. Uh, a lot of theories going around November or December. It's December. So in today's video, we're going to go through the whole trailer, which is a big one filled with so much stuff for you guys to be super excited for including myself this this trailer's been insane uh the best fnaf trailer that we've ever had uh for this game loads of cutscenes and lore and loads of reveals of some new characters some crazy ones i can't wait to show you guys if you haven't seen the trailer yet you probably have and i've also got a blog to read to you guys as well giving you guys some more information about the game about the mechanics and all that jazz so first things first we get we say hello to vanny again um, from the last trailer, if you remember. This was shown before. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. So this is Gregory, guys, speaking. So there is a voice actor for Gregory, which is really cool. Gregory will be speaking later on as well to show what's going on, what's happened with Gregory, and why is he in this massive mall all on his own. So the first reveal we get is of Glamrock Chica hunting a stone. I think that's uh, helping. I was going to say buff helping, but I think that's helping there on the barrel. Um, really, really cool shot of Glamrock Chica. Thank you for visiting. And hand unit is back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting. Thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. We hope you enjoyed the show. Before all, let me, let's go back for a sec. Now, this is a really weird shot, uh, which I got really confused about when reacting to the trailer. It looks like Glamrock Chica is eating. Um, let's see if we can get the shot to see because something does fall out of a hand in a minute It looks like pizza to me guys or food that's coming out of the mouth So for some reason Glamrock Chica's going around at the end of the day Glamrock Chica's going around eating food. I can't tell what that is. It's really hard to see Eddie and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance So if you heard what hand unit just said Freddy and the gang will be back next week because for a few days, they're going under some maintenance, which is interesting. Is that a normal thing that happens at the mall? Do the animatronics have, you know, a few days every week to have maintenance? Or has something happened during the day? We also get a really nice shot of Glamrock Chica. And that's in-game. That looks like an in-game cutscene. And Gregory goes like that. You can see the watch as well. So Glamrock Chica is hunting us down. We knew that already. But, yeah, more evidence of that. Maintenance. Freddy Fazbear. So it looks like Glamrock Chica has got crushed or something by us. It looks like Gregory crushed Glamrock Chica. Unless we're roaming around and we see this crusher machine get active and somebody else has crushed Glamrock Chica. It actually looks like we did that. Uh, I crushed Glamrock Chica and that's what she looks like afterwards. That's what it looks like, right? That looks like a crushing machine. And we've lured Chica into the room to get her crushed. Freddy Fazbear. And look at her there. Oh, my God. What a sight. That is a really awesome shot of Glamrock Chica getting crushed. But, yeah, that looked like a crushing machine, guys. It really did. So, I'll talk about the voice first, guys. Have a listen to Hand Unit. There's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed. Initiating nighttime protocols. No, no. Wait, I'm still here. And Unit describes that the pizza plex is closing down. And once again, you hear Gregory saying he is still here. So it looks like it's not Gregory's fault that he's trapped in the mall. And it's just something that's happened. Unless we find out in the game, there's a story at the start where Gregory's got lured by an animatronic or something to stay overnight. Or he's got lost or something like that. Or, and that's the reason why he's lost and he's stuck in the mall. Or... It could just be really simple. Gregory just got lost in here and now he's stuck in the mall at night. We get a really awesome shot of Gregory with his flashlight looking around this massive pizza plex. It is absolutely crazy. You can see so much stuff. It's a bit blurry because we're turning around. I think they've done that on purpose so we can't see everything. But you can see how big this area is. We've seen this atrium before with the screenshots that we got from Steel Wall. It's a massive area. Uh, we've got pizza signs, prizes. Um, if you look over here, we've got L Chips, the restaurant. We've got Monty's Gate, of course. We've got... Uh, I can't see what that says. Mazer... Mazerix or something? I think that says Maze. 
maze reese or something like this is going to be a maze that's definitely an m-a-z-e right maze it looks like we're going to go through a maze or something of that kind. And then if you turn around all the way here, guys, we get a, an amazing shot of the stage. Now, the interesting thing about the stage with the holograms and stuff is if you look closely, you can see Glamrock Freddy, the real Glamrock Freddy, standing there on the stage. So that's interesting, isn't it? We'll talk a little bit more about Glamrock Freddy later on. We've also got the helper bots as well, which are roaming around. I think what this one's got a brush or a mop, and this one's just standing there chilling. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of helper cleaner bots around the location, cleaning the place up while we're there at night. I think that's their duty at night. When everybody's gone, they have to clean the place up. But that's an amazing shot of all the holograms of air. All of the characters looking great. Here we get a view of the night guard, Vanessa. And she looks awesome. It definitely looks like she's had an upgrade. If you remember the last cartoon, we talked about it before. When she was glitched in the cartoon, it definitely looked like her face was different to the first trailer that we got when she's at the elevator looking at us. They've definitely improved the model of Vanessa. Uh, they've changed everything about her. And she looks great. Uh, a really good human model. Uh, it looks fantastic. So, you know, that trailer that we first got of Vanessa was like a year ago. And they've definitely improved it. I feel like they might have listened to the feedback of the first Vanessa model that we saw. Um, or just over time, they've just improved it themselves. But Vanessa the Night Guard looks absolutely awesome. And it looks like she finds us and she's just like, what is going on? What are you doing here? So it's very interesting that she's there. And it's a bit sus at the same time. That she's roaming around as a normal night guard, but maybe the animatronics aren't attacking her. It's interesting, right? I know the theories are going around that Vanessa is Vanny, but we'll have to wait and see about that. We get the awesome shot of Glamrock Chica rising from the dead. So I'm pretty sure at the start of the game, Glamrock Chica's going to go after us. We're going to crush her under a crush machine, and Gregory's going to think, Oh, I did it. Glamrock Chica's dead. But no. Glamrock Chica gets activated again. She is indestructible and we flinch and run away. What an amazing shot. That looks awesome. So I wonder if Gregory or somebody else is going to do, though, do that to the other animatronics to try and stop them. Because I remember in the other cartoons when we got the glitched effect, uh, Montgomery Gator and uh, Roxanne Wolf had a, a broken face too. So, who's who's behind doing that? It definitely looks like we did that. We crushed Glamrock Chica. Uh, or somebody else is doing it. Now, we get an amazing shot of Sunrise in the office. Now, this is very interesting. I'll play it for you first before I talk about it so you get to see it. We also get to see a really cool uh, background uh, for the desktops, which looks awesome. See, well, please release that to the public. I would love that as mine. Uh, you can see the netting and stuff. So, this office looks like it's in, like, the play area. Uh, where some com computer monitors are. It looks like the play area where we originally saw gla um, Sunrise and Moondrop in the ball pit area and the, the play area with the foam climbing frame and stuff. So I'll play this to you guys now and then we'll talk about it. I thought I warned you. I warned you. Sunrise said, lights out, lights out, I'm pretty sure, and said, I want you. Okay, so as soon as the power goes out, the place goes dark, Sunrise goes crazy, uh, I want you, I want you, lights out, and falls under the desk, okay? Now, that does come back later on, which we'll talk about in a minute, but remember that, guys. Sunrise falls down, says lights out, lights out. This is one of the mechanics for Security Breach, where we can make noise to distract the animatronics. Now, you can see all these cans over here, these paint cans, which have a lovely helpy on. Uh, not buff helpy, but we can press square to push over the cans. And when we do that, you see, you can see that Glamrock Chica is lured by the noise. So... We're going to have some stealthy moments in this game where we have to make noise to distract the Glamrock animatronics to make them go to the noise and then we go past them to our next objective. Very cool mechanic. We're going to get some really creepy stealthy moments, which is cool. The next scene is Vanny. So this confirms now, guys, while we're walking around the mall, Vanny is going to try and hunt us down. So just a little brief shot of that, guys. But yeah, Vanny is going to be roaming around the mall as well. I don't know whether that's all the time. If you guys have ever, ever played Resident Evil with Mr. X, I think he's called, or, or Nemesis, I think the other one's called. In Resident Evil, you, you literally always get chased by 
uh, one of those. In the new Resident Evil, Lady Dim Dimitrescu, whatever her name is, uh, she follows you all the time. So it looks like Vanny might have the same mechanic where she'll just turn up out of nowhere and chase us and we have to hide somewhere. Now remember Sunrise, guys. You can see we're in the office, back in the office at the play area. Sunrise fell down under the desk. And let's say hello to Moondrop. And there you go, guys. So in the same location and desk, that's the same place. Sunrise goes, oh, it's getting dark. Lights out, lights out. And he falls over the desk and he comes back out as Moondrop. So it is just one character. Sunrise and Moondrop seem to be just one character that can change. If you remember, we spoke about that on the cartoon where, where they were revealed. Sunrise did a little spin and turned into Moondrop. Here you go. Uh, it, it looks like it's pretty obvious now. And Moondrop says, naughty boy. So maybe Sunrise is super friendly and nice, just saying hello to us. And then when the lights go out, he goes crazy, lights out, lights out. He falls over the desk and turns into, a, the, you know, the evil version of himself, like Jekyll and Hyde. And Moondrop is the evil one, and he says, naughty boy. So I feel, I feel like he's going to come out and chase us now. Very creepy, though. I think, I think Moondrop, honestly, guys, is one of my favorite characters so far. I love the voice acting. I love, I love Moondrop and Sunrise's voice. I think they're incredible. We get another shot of the bathrooms. This is where... You know, we flipped over the cans and stuff. We've got a shower area, whether this is for the employees or something, or I thought maybe a swimming pool. Maybe there's a swimming pool in this mall, and this is where people get changed and stuff, or a gym, maybe a gym, um, or just a place for the employees to wash and stuff. I have no idea, but this is definitely, those definitely look like showers and lockers. So it seems to be more like a gym or a swimming pool or like a water park area. And Glamrock Chica is still hunting us down. This time, we, I actually thought this was quite creepy to turn around and see. But this is Glamrock Freddy. And this is the beginning of the new mechanic in this FNAF game. So don't worry, guys. Glamrock Freddy is friendly for now. Glamrock Freddy will be helping us by the looks of things throughout our journey. I don't know whether later on he gets hacked and, you know, we're on our own for the rest of the game. But... From the looks of this, we'll definitely have parts where we climb into Glamrock Freddy's chest. And the cool thing about that, guys, is that when we're inside Glamrock Freddy's chest to hide, we can actually move around as Glamrock Freddy. And the best mechanic about this is that Glamrock Chica and probably the other Glamrock animatronics can't find us and can't attack us when we're inside Glamrock Freddy. Now, you can see here, we can look at our watch. So we're going to be able to look at, our, you know, the camera system, the missions and stuff, which we'll talk about later on. But there's also a battery symbol. Now, there's more detail about this in the blog post. But this basically means, guys, I'll, I'll just tell you now, Glamrock Freddy has a, a battery power, right? We can only use Glamrock Freddy for a short amount of time. But, you know, we can probably go inside Glamrock Freddy now, get away from Glamrock Chica, go to another area... And Glamrock Freddy will probably run out of battery. And we need to recharge him. So we have to be very careful using Glamrock Freddy. Because I'm guessing if we're in the middle of nowhere. And Glamrock Freddy runs out of battery. We're screwed. And he'll have to stay there forever maybe. Unless we can find battery packs or something. Uh, big battery packs to find and generate uh, Freddy some power. So after this shot guys. This is a really cool shot. So you can see here. This is like a battery pack generator thing, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But let's have a look at the doors. There's a door here with a power bar. So it looks like this is the power for this door. And this looks like an office. This looks like the FNAF 1 office. Very, very similar. And you'll see why in a minute, again, when we look to the right. Recharge flashlight. We are going to have to recharge our flashlight. If you guys have ever played Outlast, something like that, you know, with the camera battery. It's going to be like that. So for our journey in the mall, we do have a flashlight. However, we need to keep recharging it. If not, we're going to struggle because the whole place is going to be dark and we're going to, you know, have a really spooky time. But yeah, we can recharge our flashlight in this office. So it looks like the offices, it looks like the offices are our little safe zone. I think there's going to be separate offices throughout the whole mall. We saw one where uh, Moondrop and Sunrise was in the play area. We've seen one in this area. I feel like these offices are where we're going to recharge Glamrock Freddy, recharge our flashlight, have a bit of a chill zone. However, 
You'd think that, right? Oh, we're in the office. We can recharge and just have a little bit of a break. That's not true because you can see here, Glamrock Chica is still after us. Okay? So, although the offices are good places to recharge our batteries and have a bit of a break, the animatronics are still going to be after us when we go to the offices. So, we've got to run into the office, shut the doors, recharge our flashlight, probably leave through the other way where the door was closed and run somewhere else and hide, which I think is pretty crazy. It looks like in this game that there's going to be no, like, break zones. We're always going to be chased by animatronics or Vanny, uh, which is pretty crazy to think about. It's going to be very, very stressful. But you can see here, this is the other power bar for the door. Uh, this one's open, so it's got full power. The other one was closed, so there's no power left. But yeah, Glamrock Chica is hunting us down. And I love this little uh, battery thing. So yeah, we recharge our flashlight here. You can see the office briefly. So this again is another office. Again, um, you'll see the camera system in a minute. But we'll be able to look on the cameras and stuff using our watch, I think, and the monitors. This actually looks very similar to the Security Breach TV uh, office uh, on the website, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is another office that we can go into. But I really do think there's going to be multiple offices around the mall. And here we go, guys. This is the camera system. Have a look and remember this map, okay? Remember this map because it changes. So as you can see here, there's monitors here and stuff, but there's also an office. So this might be the office that we were just in. Uh, who knows? Or it could be a brand new office that hasn't been shown on the trailer yet. Uh, there's also like the security symbol as well, like a police badge. This could be Vanessa's office or something. We've got an arcade machine. But more importantly, guys, we've got Monty and Roxanne hunting us down at the same time. Now, I don't know what these mean, these little alerts. This might be the uh, Glamrock animatronics. This might be an alert for the Glamrock animatronics or something. And maybe all of these little squares here are all the cameras that we can look at. I don't know. This arrow makes me think that that's us or that's the camera. But all, all these red symbols mean, you know, Montgomery here and Roxanne here. I don't know. We have got the camera system. We've also got a map. It looks like we've got, we're going to get a bigger map to show us where we're going, where we are. Even more importantly to that, we've got missions. Now, that is incredibly important, guys. Are we going to have multiple tasks to do throughout the mall? Are we going to have, have optional missions that we can do? You know, what if we do all the side missions and the ending and we get the best ending possible? If we don't do the side missions, are we going to get a bad ending? Stuff like that. But there's going to be multiple missions to do. Or it's just going to tell us the mission that we have to do currently. You know, make your way to... Um, make your way to Montgomery's Gator Course. Help Vanessa find the, the taser. Or help Glamrock Freddy find his battery pack. Stuff like that. We'll have to wait and see about that. And again, we have messages too. Who are the messages going to be from? Are we going to get direct messages from Vanny or the Night Guard to tell us what to do next? Are we going to get messages from Glamrock Freddy to tell us what to do next to give us advice? You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. I'm pretty sure it is Glamrock Freddy. Um, Monty, Glamrock Chica and Roxanne are, are, are way gone. You know, they're after us. I think that is Glamrock Freddy's voice. It's a lot more calmer compared to the first trailer that we got with him. We get a really nice shot of Monty here. And something crazy happens, which I think is awesome. You'll see now. He's swinging on like a ride or like a pendulum ride or something. Like a cable system or something. Or like a sign. He jumps off the sign and he slams down onto this metal bridge. This definitely looks like Montgomery's Gate, of course. You can see the same trees and stuff. So I feel like this is an in-game cutscene when we go into the Montgomery Gate, of course, the golf course. We get a cutscene of Montgomery being introduced, slamming down, seeing us jumping on the bridge, and then he's going to hunt us down. Really cool scene. Glamrock Freddy just said that the gates are going to open at 6am. So all of this is going to happen in one night by the looks of things. One whole night. Uh, kind of like Dead Rising, if you guys have played that, but it's, like, it's longer than one night in Dead Rising in a mall. But, you know, I don't know if we're going to get a time system or anything. We have to do all the 
you do all the tasks before 6 a.m. or whatever to get a different ending. Or there's going to be an ending where we just do nothing and hide all night and then escape at 6 a.m. I feel like there's definitely going to be multiple endings now. Until then, keep moving. Until then, keep moving, Glamrock Freddy just said. We get another shot now. Look closely at the map, guys. Remember when I said there's going to be multiple offices? Look, you can see Gregory here in an office and it's a different map. So there are going to be multiple offices around the mall where we're going to be safe. We're not going to be safe, but, you know, a little bit more secure, just like in FNAF 1 or whatever. But we're still going to be vulnerable because we still have to protect ourselves against the animatronics. But this is where we're going to recharge our batteries and stuff and, you know, have a little bit of a chill zone. Um, but you can see Monty's after us. We're in an office. That's literally Gregory right there. So that's really cool to see. And Montgomery is smashing the door trying to get in. So multiple offices throughout the game. Very cool. Also, this too. You see this? I think this is a zoom in and out. So we can zoom into Monty and zoom out. There's a, there's a lens there. Magnifier here so we can move around with the cameras, which is cool another shot here guys of another corridor in the same area So this is the this camera here and we're here guys. So that arrow it looks like is us in the office And this is the camera that we're currently looking at so it's the same area where Monty was smashing the door in. Glamrock Chica's after us as well. So literally, all of the animatronics coming after us all at once. It looks like it's going to be a very stressful game. Keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. Keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. So Glamrock Freddy is giving us his best advice. He's helping us out, telling us to keep moving, keep away from the animatronics and just wait until 6 a.m and you'll be able to escape. Now we get a really nice shot here. It looks like this is the exit. Come back soon. Yeah, it's definitely the exit. We've also got the parking here as well. So this is where people park the cars and come in uh, and visit the mall. The mall is closing. The mall is closing here. So this must be maybe a cutscene at the start. We've got a stamina bar. We have a stamina bar. So it looks like we can't run forever. So when we're getting chased by Glamrock Chica and stuff, or Gl Roxanne, uh, we're going to have a stamina bar. So we have to still be very, very stealthy. Now, before I show you something iconic, let's have a listen to what Glamrock Freddy says after this. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. So again, more evidence to show that Glamrock Freddy is helping us at, you know, currently. We'll have to wait and see if Glamrock Freddy gets corrupted or something or hacked. Now, have a look at this, guys, because this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> it's Music Man! So Music Man is in Security Breach, and he is absolutely massive. He has had, he has had an upgrade. Y you know, you think of Helpy turning into Buff Helpy. Music Man has turned into Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Music Man. Um... He's got headphones as well, which is quite cool. But he is massive. He's coming out of the pipes, chasing us, guys. Some people actually predicted from the cartoon trailers that we got that it was Music Man. Some people thought Mangle like me. I did see some comments and tweets saying they think it's Music Man. You were spot on, guys. So round of applause to anybody who predicted Music Man. You were absolutely right. It's Music Man, guys. And he is absolutely massive. And he's going to be chasing us around the mall as well. I feel so bad for Gregory because he is getting hunted down by so many creepy animatronics. However, guys, if you look closely, there is an arcade machine of Ella and Theodore from the Silver Eyes. Whatever that means, you guys can say what you want. Um, but Ella, the doll, and Theodore, the doll, from the books, the Twisted Ones, the Silver Eyes, the Fourth Closet, are in the arcade machine art. So... Does that mean that the books were made in the Fazbear universe? Or, or or is Ella and Theodore canon in the FNAF universe in the game lore? There is an arcade minigame with Fredbear eating burgers! Yeah! <laughs> so the sprite of Fredbear is also in Security Breach. So whatever you guys want to think about that. Uh, it is the Fredbear from FNAF 4. But look at Music Man climbing on the shelves and stuff. 
It's so terrifying. Uh, I feel like I feel like Moondrop and Music Man are going to be the creepiest ones out of all of them. From that creepy abomination, we're inside Glamrock Freddy. And as you can see, Glamrock Chica is taking no notice at all. Because we're inside Glamrock Freddy. Glamrock Chica can't detect us inside. It's kind of cool as well if you think about it that originally in Sister Location, one time Freddy's stomach was used to kill kids. But in this game... Glamrock Freddy is using his stomach to help kids. So Glamrock Freddy is a good guy, finally. We've got a good animatronic for once. We get some really awesome shots of the gang looking absolutely amazing. An introduction, kind of like Sister Location, but like vamped up by a million hype volts. Uh, this, was, this blew my mind seeing this, guys. I'll play it to you now. There's not really much to talk about this part. Just a really cool uh, shot, shots of the Glamrock animatronics looking absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look, it's so good, right? So let's show Roxanne Wolf. We get a little bit of gameplay after this. And as you can see, Roxanne Wolf is chasing us. It looks like we're holding a camera. We are using the camera... Or it looks like the health bot, or I don't know what the health bot's doing, because the health bot's like that. I don't know whether that's a taser or a flashlight, I have no idea. Whether the helping bot helped us stun Roxanne. But it looks like we've got a we looks like we've got a camera. We flash the camera and it stuns the animatronics. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know if you guys are thinking the same as well. But that's definitely a camera, guys. And there was a flash, and then Roxanne stopped chasing us and got stunned. Um, looks like the helper bot is kind of throwing us off with that theory, but that's what it seems to be leaning more towards, the camera flashing the animatronics to stun them. This scene blew my mind. It looks like we are underneath the security breach mall, and we're in, like, this trash zone maze area. I don't know what the hell we're doing down here, who made this weird place, but it definitely looks like we're underground at this point, and we're with... The withered Glamrock Chica that got crushed by the machine. And there's loads of trash bags everywhere. Weirdly, loads of support systems to make a little cave. Is, you know, is the Afton bot glitch trap made this underground for him? Has Vanny made this for her secret dungeon uh, to keep all the secrets uh, underground away from the public? Uh, we don't know. But this is definitely trash bags. Uh, and support beams and a cave. And we're down here with a withered Glamrock Chica. And she's glitching around. She's very, very glitchy at this point. Very slow. And then she finds us. She looks angry. And she chases us. That is a really cool motion. Looks awesome. This is one of my favourite shots of the, of the trailer. Uh, Montgomery doing that. Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This was really cool. It looks like we get another cutscene of Monty getting angry. And he grabs a turret. Now, I think this isn't going to shoot actual bullets, guys. So don't worry. I feel like it's going to shoot like uh, maybe golf balls. Or it's going to shoot like plastic balls or something. Something that might stun us to slow us down. Might even be a water gun or something. I have no idea. Um, or slime. Uh, just something that might slow us down. So when Montgomery is shooting us with this turret... Glamrock Cheek is going to be chasing us or something. And if we get hit by Montgomery's gun, it's going to slow us down and we're going to get caught by Glamrock Cheek. I hope that makes sense. Now, have a look at Freddy after this, guys. Freddy actually glitches when it zooms into him. See that? Why is Freddy glitching? It's kind of worrying, right? It's kind of worrying. Now, have a look at all of these guys. Alert, detected, gridlock. Overload, failure, integrity level, wave system here too, and some other stuff. Is Glamrock Freddy going to be taken over by Glitchtrap Vanny? Because Glamrock Freddy falls down, drops his mic. So what's happening there? Is it when we get caught? Is it when he runs out of battery? So there's loads of different theories we can think of. Either that cutscene happens when Glamrock Freddy runs out of battery and we fail to keep him charged number two is that he gets overtaken by vanny or glitch trap and number three that happens when we get caught by vanny i think when we're inside glamrock freddy we're going to be fighting against 
the Glamrock animatronics, they're not going to detect us. But I think Vanny is going to know that we're, in so that we're inside. And Vanny is going to hunt us down, even if we're inside Glamrock Freddy. And that could happen when we get caught by Vanny. Okay? We got another really cool shot of the gang. Roxanne Wolf, uh, Monty, Glamrock Freddy and Chica all preparing for their show. Oh, I think it's like a first-person view of Chica. I think that's Chica. Got a view of Monty on the Wait. clips. Uh, Glamrock Freddy, Roxanne. You will be uh, just more cut scenes of um, Glamrock Chica there. Roxanne's hand. Given. Very cool. Now let's have a listen to the beautiful hand unit. Building where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. So there you go, guys. That's hand unit saying, um, you know, please make your way to the front of the building where we, we're going to give you some compensation and you're going to sign this just in case anything bad happens to you during the night. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's very creepy because we're going to get absolutely destroyed by these animatronics and Vanny. It's going to be a very stressful night. Get an awesome shot of Vanny walking around, walking down and dancing, creeping. Very cool shot. So, is that in-game? Get a great shot of Vanny. Is this going to be in-game? Is this when we're going to get caught by Vanny? Is this going to be a cutscene of, of some sort where Vanny's going to be doing stuff? I have no idea. But a very cool shot of Vanny. She looks great. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing and really creepy. So, I'm looking forward to the Vanny side of Security Breach 2, not just the Glamrock animatronics. And finally, guys, we get a crazy shot of the cleaner bots. Have a look at this. As you guys can see up here, there's a platform, right? And down below here is trash. So it looks like we're going to be able to walk up these platforms and look down and see this monstrosity and even fall down and get caught by them. It's the cleaner bots, guys. It's all of the abandoned cleaner bots from the past. And they are absolutely terrifying. They are very rusty. It's interesting how they do have tears and stuff. Like, it's really interesting how they do have, like, the black streak going down the eyes and the sharp teeth. But they are definitely old abandoned cleaner bots that have just been thrown away into the trash pile. Uh, it's interesting how they're still active, though. Uh, maybe Glitchtrap has taken over all of these to, you know, creep us out or catch us. There's so many of them down in this little pit. But if you look closely, all of the helper cleaner bots have in your dreams on their stomachs. Now, I really don't know why they have that. Um, maybe this is the original prototype of them or something. Um, and that's what they had on their chest. Maybe they're like, is it trying to show that they're like the, the nightmares? Like they're, they're that creepy that they're nightmares. I don't know. Uh, have a think about that one, guys. I'm a bit stumped on that. But yeah, all of the helper. But these look like prototypes, guys. These look like the original prototype bots that have been thrown away and experimented with and just thrown away. Uh, Glitchtrap or Vanny has been taking them and turning them into this monstrosity. Or are these actually possessed? Maybe these are all the other victims of the kids that have been killed by Vanny and Glitchtrap. I have no idea. And then finally, we already mentioned it at the start. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? <laughs> short survey of our experience. The 16th of December. 2021 so very very crazy for the release date we knew it was going to happen this year uh, but mid-december is the release date the 16th of december now guys let's have a look at the blog that was posted because there's some more information that we've got to talk about i know it's a long video uh, but it's all worth it guys you get to see everything about security breach now Spend the night in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex out December 16th. I'm Ray McCaffrey, executive producer on Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. We're very excited to start sharing gameplay details from what is easily the most ambitious Five Nights at Freddy's yet, coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 December 16th. Now, it isn't actually confirmed whether it's going to come out the same day as Steam, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Security Breach is a first-person survival horror game set in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. You play as Gregory, a little boy who's trapped inside overnight. Once the surprisingly robust Pizza Plex lockdown procedures go into effect, you must survive while you search for a way out. Let's take a look at what you'll be able to expect from Security Breach's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. This is the first little snippet 
of something on the blog post, guys. There is a symbol showing that Gregory is in stealth mode. So there's going to be a symbol to show that we're crouched down. And at that point, I'm guessing the Glamrock animatronics, uh, you know, can't hear us as much as if we run around the place, right? There we go. Open the door. Stealth mode, crouching. Going past Glamrock Chica. Into the other room. This is actually after the trailer, guys. We move the buckets here, make the noise. We go down here, loop around, and then around her. See that? The animatronics, Roxy, Chica, and Monty, have been enlisted by Pizzaplex Security to hunt you. And their pursuit is a relentless one. Strategizing how you'll get past enemies is paramount to avoid those actively pursuing you, as well as more passive staff bots that will sound the alarm and call the animatronics to your location if they spot you. In the event you're detected, run to escape the immediate danger quickly, but running is limited to the amount of stamina you have got, so use it wisely. The animatronics also evolve as the night progresses, which means you'll need to adapt if you want to survive. It looks like over the night they're going to be more and more difficult to handle. Uh, maybe visiting our office more than usual or something like that. So when we're hiding, charging our flashlight at first, like the first hour, you know, it'll be quite chill. But at 5am, they're going to be overloaded and try and get into the office as much as possible. Now, let's read that again. Enlisted by Pizzaplex Security to hunt you. So, they have been programmed to take us down. And I'm pretty sure that is Vanny, Glitch Trap, controlling the animatronics, Roxy, Chica and Monty, to take us down and get us. Okay? Uh, that looks like a hand, actually, guys. What do you think? There's the arm. There's that. There's the thumb. I can't tell. That looks like a hand or something. Or I don't know whether that's like a cleaner bot or a uh, moon drop or something. I have no idea. But yeah, we're just walking through the mall. Glamrock Freddy is still on stage at this point. You can see. But something definitely goes past us at that point, guys. Something is definitely there. Freddy Fazbear himself is your most dependable ally, acting as a guide and protector through the Pizzaplex, giving you shortcuts, insider tips, and warnings about the challenges you'll face. You can also hop inside Freddy's oversized birthday cake hatch, allowing you to hide and march around undetected. You will need to be thoughtful about how and when you use Freddy because he's only got so much power and requires frequent stops at recharge stations. So I did mention this earlier in the trailer, guys. Glamrock Freddy will need to be recharged because he's got a battery when we go inside the hatch. On the screen, you see the battery at the bottom. So it looks like Freddy is going to help us a lot throughout our journey of the night. Like I said, I don't know whether later on he's going to get possessed or, you know, attacked. Freddy will need to be recharged. So we can't just rely on hiding inside Freddy all night because it's not going to work. We got one more gift, guys. And it looks like we're hiding inside a little playhouse. And Glamrock Chica is hunting us down. She's going up the stairs now away from us. You can also see from this view, guys, there is a cleaner bot. And remember, the cleaner bots are not our friends either. You can also see on the left the big Glamrock Freddy statue. So this like this looks like we go up the stairs and we're in this area. That's definitely the golden Glamrock Freddy statue at the entrance. Uh, and there's the doorways. You see the doors to exit? They're closed. The Pizzaplex is vast, and while that means more staff bots required to, for upkeep, it also means there's no shortage of hiding spots to pop into for a speedy evasion. It also means a ton of security cameras that you can access on your Faz watch, allowing you to plan your path. So we're going to be hiding, guys. There's going to be loads of hiding spots. We can also use the Faz Watch to look at the cameras. So in the areas where we're at. So we could be hiding in this little playhouse. And we'll look on the cameras and see Glamrock Chica go into another area. And then we can get out and run away. You can also knock over different objects like paint cans and toys to draw the enemy's attention. You will have to slip away before they get to your location, though. So make sure the distraction is worth the risk. Some weapons can stun enemies, the Faz Cam and the Faz Blaster. So we already talked about the Faz Cam with the flash mechanic uh, stunning Roxanne. But also a Faz Blaster. It looks like we're going to get a gun later on, like a laser gun. Maybe if we shoot it in the eyes of the animatronics, it will 
you know, distract them for a little bit, you know, interrupt their systems or something. Fazcam acts as an immediate stun for the entire area in front of you, staggering attackers just long enough to escape. Unfortunately, it has a limited number of uses before requiring a recharge. The Faz Blaster has unlimited ammo, but you'll need to land a direct headshot for it to work, which is not so easy when an animatronic alligator has practically leaped on top of you. There you go, guys. Direct mechanics, like literally giving us the information we want. Uh, the Faz can works, but it, it needs recharging. But the Faz Blaster can work all the time, but we have to get a direct shot at the head uh, for it to stun the animatronic. And like the blog says, if Monty's running after you really quick, it's going to be very difficult to get that headshot. There's so much more on top of all of this that we can't wait to share with you. Unique office escape games, boss battles, more enemy types, and even fully playable arcades hidden throughout the Pizza Plex. We're looking forward to sharing all of it with you on December 16th. Thank you. Wow. So we've got unique office escape games. So we're going to be in an office for uh, like a, a six minutes or something, shutting the doors, defending ourselves. It looks like it's saying boss battles, boss battles against Music Man, boss battles against the, the helping bots, the possessed helping bots, more enemy types and even fully playable arcades. So we're going to go through them all and there's going to be arcade machines that we're going to play. Are they going, are they going to have hidden easter eggs they're gonna have some lore behind them we'll have to wait and see but that is it guys i've been recording for an hour it's been a long one my voice is absolutely dead just talking and screaming and reacting but that is everything we know so far i've gave you everything i can see uh, for now at this point guys i do think we're going to get more screenshots or something like that in the future Steel Wool are going to post some on the Security Breach website. I have no idea. In November, I feel like Steel Wool are going to start hyping it up and showing some more stuff. Okay? So, what a crazy day for FNAF. Absolutely crazy. Let me know your thoughts, please. All your theories in the comment section. It's a crazy one, right? Uh, so, let's wait and see. December 16th is the release. Official release. Again, I don't know the Steam release, but I'm pretty sure it will be out on Steam the same day. We'll have to wait and see unless Steel will have done a deal with PlayStation to have it a week early. I don't know. But, yeah, pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. What an amazing day for FNAF fans. I hope you're all excited. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will obviously be doing the game on the channel. It's going to be a long playthrough by the looks of things, which is really fun. I'll probably be playing this on Christmas. Christmas Day. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy December. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time.